Jesus is king, amen, and Jesus is risen, and he is high and lifted up, and we praise him this day. Uh, I want to give you guys, share with you guys a quick dream that I had back in June, June 25th of 2020, and I feel it is time to share it, and I'm going to share the dream, it's real short, and then share what I hear the Lord saying through it, so Holy Spirit, may it be your words and not mine today. In Jesus' name, amen. In this dream, I was standing, looking up at the sky. And it, as I looked up at the sky to discern what was what was in the sky, I saw black tornadoes everywhere forming around in the sky. And as I told the people around me, look up, do you see the storm? There's a storm coming. The people around me looked up and said, no, look, it's just a blue, beautiful sky with white, puffy clouds. You know, the sky is just fine. But as soon as they said that, the black storm clouds and tornadoes actually manifested in the sky and everyone then could see it and it came forth very quickly. And that was the end of the dream. So I want to share this and pull out some key points that the Lord, as I sat with them on the dream, revealed. And the first is that as God's people, we have his spirit in us. So we are able to discern the times and seasons, which the sky and the weather in dreams and particularly like the clouds and the color of the sky, things that are in the sky, like tornadoes, anything like that are often symbolic of the time and season of the earth or the time and season that we're in. And so we as God's people have the ability to discern the times and seasons beyond whatever's being presented to us or whatever we're seeing in the natural. Because whenever God gives a word um, or gives us discernment, we often perceive prophetically what is going to happen and not what's happening right now. And so oftentimes those who don't know the Lord will actually mock um, the discernment that God gives others because they can't see it yet because it hasn't manifested yet. So we as God's people can set aside the mockery or the fear of man and say, Lord, what are you saying? D give me discernment of the time and season. And that I believe is the first admonition for us as the body. But also the other part of the dream was that the storm, the sky shifted quickly. So I believe that this storm um, in my understanding in my limited understanding i believe that the storm will come forth a political uh you know economical storm will come forth after the dam breaks right after you know i shared in a previous video the dam is going to break and great exposure that can't be pulled back in will come forth and i believe that the storm will happen in response to that exposure because the enemy and those he's using as his vessels as well as people who've been listening to the enemy are going to lash out in response to this exposure and to what god is doing in the earth in a really negative way so there's going to be um just a lot of negative response to exposure and that's my understanding of what is going to make this storm even more heightened but also tornadoes can represent the judgment of god on the wicked and so i believe there'll be an aspect of that those people who've been given time to repent and have not um, are going to experience the they're going to reap what they've sown under the hand of god almighty so um, we need to be praying for repentance uh, um, as people are given time to repent but for us who are seeking the Lord, um, trying to discern the times and seasons, the admonition is to not look to the natural to decide how what's going on, to actually discern by the Spirit of the Lord and seek the Lord for what time and season it is. And when we do that um, and we see that the Lord is saying a storm is coming, a storm is upon us, we get right with the Lord, both in our spirit, we, we make sure He is our foundation and that we've cut out everything He's told us to remove out of our lives and, and are on a firm foundation relationally with God. But then uh, physically, we also prepare for things. Uh, I know in previous videos, 
the Lord said the dollar would rebel. He gave me that dream that the dollar would rebel. So there's going to be economic turmoil coming, but also uh, the dream of food lines where we've had inflation, but that could even increase to a higher amount. So just being prepared naturally for um, to help our families, but also help others uh, for when the storm hits, because the dream implies the storm will hit quickly. Um, when it, when it hits again, we don't need to know the timing of God or try to figure out the timing. I believe a lot of us struggle with that, but the time is the Lord's and it's our job to receive what he's saying and, and what we're discerning from him and prepare accordingly. So I pray this video blesses you and, um, that you would just enjoy and rejoice in the victory and authority of Jesus Christ in the earth.